Hi everybody! Today we're going to make a very simple and cool solar system project. In it, the planets will move around the Sun at a real speed because we're going to take into account the number of years each planet takes to orbit the Sun. It's a very nice project to do with your students in science and I hope you like it. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, as you see, I have provided you with the sprites that you need. They are in a project in my secondary account. So you have to log in. I have signed in with my primary account and click on Remix. When you Remix, you will save a copy of this project in your account. This way, we already have the sprites and we also have the variables that we're going to use later. But before we get started, I want to explain to you one little thing, which is related to the turn block in Scratch. I'm going to make a simple rectangle and I'm going to center it on the canvas. I'm going to go to code. Let's put it over here. And I'm going to make a very simple project. Well, simple program to make it turn constantly. If I click on the green flag, as you see, it is spinning on itself. But if I go to costumes and I move it away from the center, now it's orbiting the center of it. So we're going to make the most of this characteristic in Scratch to create the solar system project and make the planets orbit the sun. OK, let's get rid of it. Let's go to the code. Let's start with the Earth, for example. And the first part is very simple. Forever turn one degree. So if I click here, the Earth starts orbiting the Sun. When I click on the green flag, I want all the planets to start here. So at the very beginning of the project, we will put point in direction this one, which is the initial. And that way, whenever I click on the green flag, it starts here. So now let's pass this program, for example, to Mercury. In the case of Mercury, we need to take into account the real speed of Mercury compared to the Earth's speed. I have here a list that tells me the number of years each planet needs to orbit the Sun. One year in the case of the Earth. But Mercury, for example, takes 0 0.24 years. So how do I translate that into Scratch language? Very simple. We're going to use a division. And in the case of Mercury, we're going to divide 1 into 0 0.24. If I click here, this is 4.16. So it means that Mercury is going to move four times as fast as the Earth. Let's see. There you go. And this is realistic because by the time the Earth has orbited once, Mercury has done it four times. So we're going to apply this rule with every single planet. Uh, let's go to Jupiter, for example. We pass the program here. And now in Jupiter, we have a look at the list. And in this case, it's 11.86 years. So 11.86. This number is going to be lower than 1. So Jupiter is going to be moving very slowly. OK, so let's do it with the rest of the planets. All right, first part of the project finished, and now let's see what it looks like. Green flag, and there we go. Mercury the fastest, Neptune the slowest, but they are all moving. Excellent. OK, first part of the project finished. Let's pass to the second. Now we're going to count the number of orbits each planet makes around the Sun. Obviously, we need variables that, as I have told you, they are already created. So let's go, for example, to Mercury. Let's show it. Mercury. And we're going to do the following. Before we code Mercury, we're going to make here a sensor that is going to detect when a planet passes. So choose a sprite, paint, let's take a line. 
I'm gonna make it a different color for the moment, although later I will uh, paint it black to make it invisible. There we go. Cursor, select the line, 10 pixels wide. Let's put it here aligned with the center and the position should be zero, zero. Perfect. Uh, let's call it sensor. And let's go to the code. First of all, we're going to send it to the back layer. Go to back layer. And what is Mercury going to do? Let's make another program. Well, again, we need a forever because Mercury is going to be constantly checking if it is touching the sensor. And when it is touching it, we are going to change Mercury by one. But it has a small problem. Look, if Mercury is here, we're going to change Mercury by one. When it moves, it's still touching the sensor. So again, we will change Mercury by one. So what do we do so that Mercury only adds one to the variable every time it passes over the sensor? Simple. We are going to wait. We're going to wait until it is not touching sensor. So we're going to wait until Mercury has passed over completely. Let's see now. Green flag. Perfect. Well, I have moved Mercury and I have to send it again to the center. I'm going to reset this and I will show you the last problem, which is simple to solve. When I click on a green flag, look, Mercury has won before completing the first orbit. Why? Because as soon as it appears, it is touching the sensor. So we add one to it. So what are we going to do? We're going to start with negative one. That way, as soon as Mercury appears, it will have a zero in the variable. Let's see. Perfect. Passes here, one. Passes again, two. And that's what we need to do. Now it's as simple as passing this program to the rest. Let's put it on the Earth, for example. And we change Earth and Earth. Let's show the variable and check if everything is OK. Mercury has one. The second. The third. The Earth is coming. Let's see if it adds one. Perfect. So this is what we need. Now we can go to the sensor and paint it in black to hide it. And we need to pass this program to the rest of the planets. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's show all the variables and let's see if it works as we expect. Mercury 1, second, now Venus 1, okay, Mercury 3, now Earth and Mercury would, will add 1, perfect. Now it's Venus again, fantastic. Well, as you see, these planets are very slow and we're not going to wait until they add 1, but obviously it is going to work. Okay, so this is the project and the end of the video. Interesting, simple, and very useful in your science classes. So put it into practice and write in the comments if you have any problem. See you guys. Bye bye.